Well, Gary, this time last week we conducted our first Borough TV of the season and you were visibly disappointed with the result against Richmond, but we stand here today to reflect on a gritty win against Collingwood at the Holden Centre on Saturday and in the milestone of your 700th game, no less, you must be uh, chuffed at the response by the players to turn it around in the space of seven days. Yeah, it's probably just the old adage, isn't it, Sam, where you think about uh, Eddie Maguire's famous quote, it's been a big week in football, so and that's clearly what it was. We're obviously disappointed and we certainly didn't hide away from that last week when we reviewed the game. The players were certainly very good in being able to accept the feedback and it was certainly along the lines of, that's not really us. Obviously, you've got to give, as we always say, credit where it's due. And Richmond were very, very good. So maybe a couple of things went our way too, that uh, Elliot and um, Adams were injured during the week. Obviously, the fact that the weather came in the way it did early. But I was always keen, win, lose or draw, just to see what the response was. And effort and intent was really good all day. And I thought our leadership group should get a special pat on the back this week too because I thought they stood up and showed all the great characters that and characteristics that they are and have and uh, they led the way no more so than the captain with five goals uh, and are you able to pinpoint some specific elements of how we went about it on Saturday that helped us turn the tables on the previous week and I suppose secondary to that did you sense that a response like this might have been on the cards with the feeling amongst the group going in well firstly it's really about intent and I think effort and that's what I always say to the players the structures and the ball movement and the confidence if you're not intent about what you're going to try and do to win each particular contest and if you don't have that effort regardless of how talented you are at least it's going to make it a pretty good contest overall and I thought they were significant steps that we took in those areas. The ability to just try and win a contest when the weather was the way it was was super important so we just spoke about winning the ball first and then making the decision second. I thought some of our things that we tried position wise and also too tactically was very, very good. Certainly on Thursday I noticed there was a different intent and also too a little bit more noise, a bit more vibe and they just had a lot more energy on Thursday so I went away thinking on Thursday that we have at least shown on the track that we want to be better and uh, no doubt that carried over to obviously what we saw on Saturday for the full four quarters. There was time and time again where I thought we had wonderful time in possession, we had really good uh, field position but again at times we just couldn't put that extra little element of pressure on which was the scoreboard but gee whiz we never ever stop trying and I think that was a big key in why we won. Uh, and with such a raft of experienced players leave us at the end of last season, it's weeks like this where leadership does become important as you mentioned and it's fair to say that our new 2018 skipper in, in Geordie Lyle really stepped up when required on Saturday but he wasn't alone because there were a lot of standout individual efforts that helped drag us over the line. Yeah, most definitely, Sam. And look, you always get that when the team plays well. And I'm always a big coach on who plays well when things aren't going so well. And obviously who does when we're basically winning in every position. But it was a total team contribution. And Geordie with five goals in those conditions, it was one heck of an effort. And uh, Albert against one of our Premiership sons and favourites in Brodie Majacek. But I guess in the end, if you analysed it and thought, well, it was three goals to two points at quarter time. From that point on, we kicked uh, nine goals, seven, and what they kicked four goals, five, I think it might have been. So we certainly had good supply. We look a totally different team, I think, when we can get some really good, consistent, deep entries inside our forward 50, rather than the shallow ones from time to time, which just makes us look a bit average. So, but all the leaders, all the players that played on Saturday were part of a terrific win against a side that had won by something like 20 goals the week before. And probably remiss of us not to mention previously, but we have got the unique situation this year where we don't have the Development League as part of our program anymore. We saw three changes made to the Round 1 side for this week's win. Are you perhaps able to shed some light to the fans as to how you're managing that process in terms of monitoring and nurturing players through the local ranks? Yeah, sure. Look, and that's obviously a good point. We certainly have to back in the intel that we get, whether it's from the coaches or obviously the players. We do have one or two people that go out there and watch the games, but it's very, very difficult because pretty much it's one game Saturday and one game Sunday, although not a lot of the suburban clubs tend to play on a Sunday. It seems to be more on a Saturday. So we've just got to be very clear in our minds that we back the player in, and Billy Lloyd was probably a good example of that. His form's been pretty consistent out at St Kevin's, and 
I talk to Tom Williams every week as I do to most of the other coaches and if I don't get to him then Trent McMicken gets to him as well and really we're on about trying to reward those players that are playing well there. Billy did his job, 14 disposals, 12 tackles and considering our forward line at one stage had Billy Lloyd with one game, Tommy Hobbs with 10 and Anthony Valor with two and you throw Ash Cracker in there who's probably only played something like maybe 15 or 16 games. So I think that's the important thing that we don't shy away from the fact that these young boys will get a chance and we know it takes time to be a really, really good player. We've seen that with the greats of our club. Toby Pimble started in the reserves and obviously Chris Kane and these guys go back. They try and do the right thing by their home clubs and then when they get a chance here, I know they'll perform as well as they possibly can. So we keep rewarding them and um, no doubt as the year unfolds, they'll get a chance. Well, Gary, congratulations on the 700 milestone firstly and on the win. It was well deserved for you to mark that occasion and hopefully it's onwards and upwards from here on in. It's Sandringham up next, so best of luck again there. Yeah, thanks, Sam. 700 was special, obviously, from the fact that we got a win for our boys and uh, kick-started our season for 2018.